to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. I didn't play with words. Spirit-inspired, word-compliant, life-applicable kingdom truth that makes for your lifting for your rising it is these these adjectives that help you to understand the quality of what you are receiving the speakings of a man on its own does not change doesn't really bless it is when it is spirit inspired word compliant are we together life applicable that means at the end of every teaching by the grace of god you should find the point of application in your life Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Open our eyes tonight and grant us grace. For in Jesus' name we pray. Can you turn it into a prayer? In fact, I like every time we participate in prayer. Lord, open my eyes. Reveal to me the keys. in jesus name we pray all right so let's get to work proverbs chapter 4 and verse 18. the bible tells us that the path of the just is as a shining light that shineth more and more even unto the perfect day the perfect day is the day when the lord comes the perfect day is not the day when you shine brightest the perfect day is that day when the lord comes to wrap up life as we know it so until then you have not gotten into that perfect day and there is still room for more there is still room to keep pressing the bible says more and more is the heritage of everyone who is the justified are we together more and more not more alone not more once more and more one level of greatness after another one level of encounter after another job chapter 28 from verse 7 and 8 job himself was giving us a testimony by the spirit that there is a path which no fowl knoweth which the vulture's eye hath not seen job is speaking now he says the lion's whelps have not trodden nor the fierce lion passed by it give us verse 7 again do you know what this means the vulture if you study the vulture the vulture is a very strange bird. It can pick with precision anywhere there is meat that is dead and rotten. Are we together now? With precision from a high altitude. You see them roaming around abattoirs. You see them roaming anywhere there is a dead body. Anywhere there is anything that is newsworthy and can be food. The vulture sustains the ability to pick the signal. And yet the Bible says there is a path which no fowl know it the birds have an advantage of the air they don't walk on land so they are not limited in perspective are we together the bird can see higher and greater if you drive you are only limited by the frame of your sight are we together but when you are in the air you'll be able to see a lot more now the bible says the birds have those advantages and yet there is a path their eyes cannot see it says even the vulture the vulture that has the power of sight and then the advantage to be able to smell and pick signals even the vulture has not seen are we together now verse 8 we're giving definition to more and more it says the lion's whelps have not trodden that means the lion is not afraid of any animal you know the lion does not fear it may only run to re-strategize it has earned itself the title of being the king of the jungle 
and so there is there is if there is any virgin place where the lion and its pride has not gotten to it will trod its feet there and establish its dominion there and yet the bible says the webs of the lion have not trodden even the angry lion has not passed by it this is only a definition that there are still realms and there are still dimensions kept for the people of god are we together that everything you have seen about god until now is not all that he wants to reveal everything you have seen about spiritual power is not all that there is all that you have seen about revelation is not all that there is all that you have seen about prosperity increase someone said there is more speak it prophetically say there is more more and more is the destiny of God's people the path of the just we have been justified in Christ and the Bible says our destiny our heritage in Christ is more and more that means there is no plateauing for the believer it is from one stride to another when you think they have exhausted everything they will come to a higher dimension may that be your testimony in the name of Jesus Christ in Revelation chapter 4 and verse 1, popular scripture, John the apostle was caught up in heaven. And remember the chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3. He, the Bible says that he was in the spirit on the Lord's day. You find that in verse 10 of chapter 1. So he was already in the spirit on the Lord's day. When you look at Revelation 1 verse 10, I believe, he said, I was in the spirit on the lord's day so he was already in the spirit but when we get to chapter 4 and verse 1 the bible says after this i looked is god helping us already and behold a door was opened where in heaven and the first voice which i heard was as it were of a trumpet talking with me and he said come up here already in the spirit already in heaven and the voice said come up here the voice didn't just say look around rise that even though you are in the spirit even though you are already in heaven even though you have seen you have received the message to the seven churches there is still more come up here and i will show you the things that must be thereafter someone say more and more, more. i wrote down here i said there is always more for the people of god there is always more you have to burn that as a revelation in your spirit so if god opens you up to a level of the healing anointing opens you up to a level of the prophetic opens you up to a level of wealth and prosperity opens you up to a level of leadership and influence it doesn't matter in what dimension you must settle it at the back of your mind that all i have seen is not all that there is the prize for new dimensions there is always more more and more is the destiny of every believer in Christ hallelujah there is still more in your work with God there is still more as far as destiny actualization is concerned there is still more as far as your excelling in life is concerned unfortunately the Bible and even history is full of people who do well and rise to certain levels in ministry in business in career whatever area and they may not backslide they may not go down but they seem to plateau at a level and sometimes they plateau at that level until they are edged out of relevance are we together now this ha this has happened respectfully over men of god this has happened over business people this has happened over people in government this has happened to leaders the goal of this teaching is that you get to that more and more dimension where as far as the assignment committed to you is concerned and your destiny and your press into god that you will never stop you will never have a better yesterday in the name of jesus christ very quickly i'm going to run through the price i like responsible christianity i am an advocate of responsible christianity responsible christianity means that number one you are open to the provisions that redemption has brought but you are also told the role the participatory role that you have to play in making that finished reality and experience in your life that is responsible christianity 
it is a fact that it is not all up to God and it is not all up to you are we together now yes as far as bringing that reality and making it finish from the realm of the spirit is concerned it is exclusively God's assignment but making it manifest and revealed in your life you have a role to play so the formula is always the spirit and the bride say come if the spirit is saying come and you the bride does not say come come cannot manifest the spirit and the bride say be lifted the spirit and the bride say be healed for many of you the spirit has been saying for a long time come up here but the bride has refused to answer the spirit has been saying rise to a new level prophetically rise to a new level of prosperity rise to a new level of grace but there seem to be a spiritual deafness or the laxity to rise so tonight's teaching is equipping us with the knowledge we need to leave that area where we have been limited and to rise to a new level in the name of Jesus Christ. This may be a message for a man of God who is saying, Apostle, I may not know what is wrong with my spiritual life. I can't say I'm backslidden, but I am I'm tired. No new messages, no revelation. I'm not sure I'm seeing anything more. I'm just recycling my current realm. He said, ye have come past this mountain long enough. Turn ye not words. This may be for a businessman, someone in your finances. You can't say you are going down, but in truth, there is nothing new. New is a very powerful spiritual word. It means there is increment, there is growth. Are we together now? I'm going to give you a few keys that represent the price that all together will bring you to a new dimension. And I'm praying in the name of Jesus that this teaching will not be casual for you, that you will listen to it, not just with your physical ear alone, because the Bible says, he that hath an ear, there is a spiritual ear, and many people do not have it. And so they don't hear. They keep nodding. Sometimes they say, tell them, and at the end of the service, they don't receive anything. I pray that your ears be open and your eyes be open in the name of Jesus Christ. The first price, the first price that is responsible for accessing higher realms and dimensions in life and in destiny is the price of a deeper experience with God. The price of a deeper experience with God. Take me deeper. You know that song? Deeper in love with you. Jesus, hold me close to your embrace. Take me deeper. Deeper than I've ever been before. I just want to love you more and more. How I long. To be deep. Can I tell you, those who will keep making news for the kingdom are those who understand that it is the deeper and the richer your walk with God, the more the sound of your exploits in the spirit. Are we together? Physically speaking, the heavier an object the more it will make noise when you throw it on the ground. Is that true? When you carry a strand of hair or a feather and you throw it, it will take so long to arrive the ground and you will almost not know that there is anything there. News is a product of deep relationship with the spirit. You want God to announce you to your world. It is not just looking for opportunities. You have to have a deeper walk with God. A deeper walk with God. Second Kings chapter 9 and verse 30, very popular and powerful scripture. Second Kings 1930, I meant to say. The Bible says the remnant 1930, 1930. Second Kings 1930. The remnant that is escaped of the house of Judah. It says the first thing they shall do is to take root or bear root downwards and then they will bear fruit upwards. Are we together? That those that have escaped and are preserved, 
if they are to gain stature they will bear root downwards for you to understand this you have to understand agriculture please look up there are grasses and little shrubs that last for days weeks and at best a few months you can pull them up because their roots are not deep sometimes their roots are even visible is that true you can see them and because their roots are not deep you don't expect that they become giant trees if you plant your maize the ridge that you make for maize sometimes it may not even be anything serious just enough to cover it is that true and then it grows because after three months you are going to cut everything away but there are trees giant oak trees and many trees that we have in Africa and around the world some of those trees are 30 years old 60 years old hundreds of years old and you find out that the root of those trees without exaggeration sometimes it can be so deep deep enough to be the size of a house and it sinks right to the ground are we together whether there is rain or no rain it doesn't wait for any season it has gone deep enough to touch where there is constant supply the Bible says he shall be like a tree that is planted by the streams of water are we together now hmm. whose leaves does not wither and the reason is because it does not have to wait for seasons to change to flourish it has found its way to get a constant supply of water hallelujah so the deeper your root spiritually in terms of your fellowship with God in terms of your prayer life in terms of your love for God your honor and your spiritual understanding your the, the, generally your love and your passion and your fire for God there is a guarantee from that experience that you will not plateau show me a man whose passion for God never goes down I show you a man whose relevance will remain show me a preacher show me a businessman show me a politician show me a career person who has that degree of respect for God I show you a man that no matter what storms come he will remain and he will increase somebody say more and more one more time prophesy say more and more hallelujah are we learning in second chronicles chapter 15 second chronicles chapter 15 we'll read from verse 10 please give it to us media let's walk together second Chron second chronicles 15 from verse 10 it says so they gathered themselves together at jerusalem reading to 15 in the third month and in the 15th year of the reign of asa uh-huh and they offered unto the Lord the same time of the spoil which they had brought, 700 oxen and 7,000 sheep, 12. And they entered into a covenant. What was the covenant? To seek the Lord, the God of their fathers, with all their heart and with all their soul. Next verse. That whosoever would not seek the Lord God of Israel, he should be put to death, whether small or great, whether man or woman. Two more verses, 14. And they swear unto the Lord with a loud voice and with shouting and with trumpets and with cornets. The last verse. It says, And all Judah rejoiced at the oath, for they had sworn with all their heart and sought him with their whole desire. And he was found of them, and the Lord gave them rest round about. What was the secret? They said the issue of seeking God, we bind it as a covenant. We are not going to depend on our emotions. The day I feel good, the day it works well for me, no, I will seek the Lord no matter what happens. Second Chronicles 26 and verse 5, speaking about Uzziah, the secret to his prosperity and exploit. The Bible says, and he sought God in the days of Zechariah, who had understanding in the visions of God. And as long as Uzziah sought the Lord, God made him to prosper. The word prosper there it has nothing to do with money. It means to excel. It means to advance. It means to continue. For as long as he sought the Lord, the Lord made him to prosper. May you never get to any point in your life where you feel you have sought God enough. 
may you never get to a point in your life where you feel your prayer life is enough may you never get to any point in your life where you feel your commitment and your passion for god is enough are we together the only place you are permitted to say enough is in acquisitions of material things and then just the earthly study of things instead of reading many books there is no end and much study is a weariness to the soul he says this is the conclusion of the matter fear god and keep his commandments for this is the whole duty of man but as far as seeking god is concerned even in heaven our pursuit still continues is someone learning exodus chapter 33 and verse 14 we're discussing the first price the price of deep a deeper experience with god this is moses they are about to leave are we together sojourning through the wilderness and he said my presence shall go with thee and i will give you rest speaking to moses now verse 15 and he said moses is replying now if your presence does not go with us do not take us away from here our journey is useless if we do not have the backing of your presence this is a word for someone before you start taking steps verify whether god is with you if money is the only thing that is with you you are still in trouble money can be with you minus god you are only getting into trouble because even the door that will lead you to trouble must be open too so not every open door is god's door satan also opens doors the prison has doors and just because the prison door is open it can be open for you to enter inside nobody enters into the prison with a closed door the door will first have to be open among the many things you have to verify on your way every once in a while take a break and check what do i have around my life i have results what do i have around my life anointing what do i have around my life fame what do i have around my life more money than i had last year if god is not at the top of everything around you stop there and make sure you secure his presence before the journey continues is someone learning now failure to do that will only cause you casualties this is the mistake of great people they begin with god but then they get to a point in their christian experience where they feel listen do i really need god i've become a celebrity i am famous remember the teaching tonight is not for those who are starting the teaching tonight is the secret for remaining and increasing you know what it takes to start to start the church to start the ministry to start the business be careful when you begin to have results because among the many things that will look too heavy for you to carry may be god and so you can throw god aside so that the luggage will be easier to continue the journey i rather stay in one place with god than to move with other things and without him moses was wise remember when they left egypt i hope you know they did not live empty they left with gold remember they left with a lot of things moses would have said we have gold if enemies come to capture us we'll just negotiate with them and say okay we are not empty we have gold but he said if your presence will not go with us do not take us away from here let's finish that scripture 16. it says for wherein shall it be known here that i and thy people have found grace in your sight is it not in that thou goest with us so shall we be separated or distinguished i and thy people from the people that are upon the face of the earth there is a mark that comes upon a destiny that values divine presence you carry divine presence in ministry the difference will be clear and unmistakable you carry divine presence in business you carry it in raising your children you carry it in exploring your destiny adventure some of you have thrown god so that you have space to collect money some of you threw god as a necessary you threw him away you are too much of a luggage i notice that every time i hold you when people try to offer me money i can't collect it some of you have thrown god so that you will preserve your pride the price for new dimensions number one is a deeper experience with god take your place take your place 
Take your place, take your place, take my body, my soul, my spirit, breathe on me. Take my body, my soul, my spirit, breathe on me. Hallelujah. Never let the pursuit of God become an embarrassment because of where you have arrived. Can I kneel down again? Will it, be, will it not be an inconvenience? Can I lift my hands in worship again with all my subordinates here? I now run a conglomerate with offices in UK, with offices in, 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 in Russia, with offices in America, and all of my subordinates are there. Now I'm a great man of God. I have a lot of sons. Can I be embarrassed to roll on the floor before God? Never get to a point where your love for God becomes a thing of shame. You are already in trouble. Hallelujah. Never let your clothes be too expensive that it cannot touch the ground. Uh -uh. <laughs> when the ark of God was being returned back to Jerusalem, David, who was king at that time, he danced in a way that looked like he was a madman. The Bible described this as an undignified dance. And his wife, who was Saul's daughter, looked at him in shame and said, Oh dear. What a foolish and stupid king. Look at how you brought reproach to yourself before your contemporaries. And he said, let me tell you something. You, I know you are my wife, but I need to educate you. I am not dancing before this man. I am dancing before God who collected the kingdom from your father and gave it to me. David acknowledged that that realm he was given. He was, who would have known? Do you know there is nowhere, David was not like Joseph who had a dream that one day he would become king. The Bible never records, at least Joseph had a consolation. He was dreaming. David never knew. If you ask David in the wilderness, David, who will you become? He will say, I will become a warrior. Not knowing that, that victory was only a starting point. Someone is already celebrating success too much. You are already over celebrating a little realm. Whereas God's call and destiny for you is that he will make you captain over his inheritance. Is someone learning? The God you found in the wilderness must be the God you honor in the palace. If the God you found in the wilderness was powerful enough to bring you in the palace, you would be foolish to throw him away for Dagon. When David came and met Saul and proposed to fight Goliath, Saul said, okay, I am a king. I have the best of armory. Take all my armory. And he said, king, I respect you. But I have my weapons that I was trained with. I'm not here to come and it's not just military might. I have a covenant by reason of my seeking God. Let me tell you the truth. In this end time, God will raise unassuming, unusual people. People who when you add them up, they don't equal to the result that should be. But because of their determination to seek and walk with God, God will carry some things as gifts. God will carry the prayer requests of nations and institutions and give individuals as a testament for seeking them. You believe what I'm telling you. You've not seen prosperity yet until you see people who are unassuming, who will be custodians of the wealth of the kingdom, that God will give it to them by himself. If you interview them in terms of business intelligence, the truth is that you will be disappointed. They don't add up. Yet you cannot deny the result because they sought the Lord. There are many, many kinds of graces and anointings that have not yet been released but are coming. I tell you, you will see men rise who are like gods upon the earth power and dimensions miracles and the manifestations of the spirit the deaf ears and the blindness you are talking about it will be common occurrence you will not have to put a crusade for that to happen that people will be walking on the street and they will pass a mortuary and dead bodies will come back to life without the people even knowing that they were used by god to heal the sick Sh 
This is what God wants to do. But there is a price. The price of a deeper walk with God. Father, you have blessed me. Now I have a mansion. Now I have cars. Now I have influence. But I count them but dung. The way I rolled 10 years ago, I will see roll in your presence. My clothes may have changed, but my allegiance will never change. My clothes may have changed, but my worship will not change. My car may have changed. My pedigree may have changed, but you still remain my God. Someone pray in one minute. Lord, I repent for trying to replace you with many things on my way to greatness. Please pray. For someone, this is why you came to church. You are my God. As a shepherd and as a king, you are my God. As an employee and as an entrepreneur, you are my God. You are my God. No matter where I go to, no matter where I become. You see, let me tell you something. Please listen. Listen and learn. We still have a lot to look at. Do you know, when God begins to lift you and put you in a position of influence, now you are in an elevated position where people watch you. And the first thing they want to watch is who you honor and what you love. You can influence a generation with one encounter to reject Christ because you have mismanaged influence there are many people today who vowed all kinds of vows to god lord if you lift me i will stand for you but now when you begin to fly around the world you come into a realm of priority living where your name has become a key to many lives chances are excellent that god now becomes a luggage and an inconvenience for you many have lost their touch with god Many have maintained a level at, at a level that God lifts you and you are still doing two verses per day. Honestly, you are not a serious Christian. Maybe for a start as a believer. Hmm. The fast of 10 years ago must be restored back. The prayer of 10 years ago must be restored back. The sitting outside of 10 years ago where you say, Lord, it is in the dead of the night, but I'm still awake with you here. To worship you, I live. To worship you, I live. I live to worship you. To worship you, I live. To worship you, I live. I live to worship you. Oh. oh, oh. Oh, 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 Hallelujah. You have heard me say this. Everything God gives you is not all he wants to give you. At any point in your life, whatever you receive from God, just know that it is part of the full package, no matter how great it is. God gave me one billion. Ah, that is all. And God is saying, so I, the goal is for 100 billion and billions of dollars to fund the kingdom. And just because you had one billion in your mind, it has carried you away. 
God gave me a this. God now made me an estate, uh, whatever it is. Ah. I cast my crown before the highest royalty. I am undone before your glorious majesty. I cast my crown before the highest royalty, and I have my done before the glorious majesty. You're the King of kings and Lord of ah, lords. You are the King of kings. You are the Lord. Glorious Majesty, Yabone Naka, Sujada Naka, Sir King Salama, Sir King Aljana. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.